All right, so today I'm going to show you how to put together uh, the 12-volt monster kit. This is the 6-volt uh, remote kit for your Mojo Duck. The reason that this video is going to be different is because they don't necessarily have diagrams for this specific duck. This is the Cabela's Twin Pack. Uh, comes from Cabela's as uh, Drake and a hen. Uh, so the difference is, is it doesn't have a 6-volt rechargeable battery. It doesn't have a whole lot of diagrams online for this. So come on in close. You'll notice here that it has a 9-volt battery attachment. Four double A's equals 9 volts. Then uh, you'll have your 12-volt monster attachment in line to the motor. And you actually don't cut any part of the switch as you might plug in for the other one with the 6-volt giant battery that goes in. So you'll notice here that the, uh, the remote does work. You have a remote like this. comes in the pack. Once you wire it in, you start. You finish, and this is it. It'll turn on, and then turn off. Turn on, and then turn off. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do this from start to finish uh, so it's easy to follow, and uh, we'll show you what you need first to finish up the project. A couple of tools and the items that you'll need. What you're gonna need is uh, obviously a Mojo. Uh, these ones are, again, this will work for your Mojo Twin Pack from Cabela's. Uh, I think it's a Cabela's exclusive to have them like this. Again, you'll notice that it has the 9 volt attachment for the pack of four AA batteries and then the wires that go down to the switch underneath and the motors up inside there. What you're going to need is the 12 volt monster kit. It comes with two of these. I have one here and then one on the other duck. Uh, you're going to need a set of clippers. You're going to need some solder. If you choose this way, this, I think this is the best way. Uh, you obviously need a soldering iron that's getting heated up over there on the vise. You'll need some heat shrink wrap. This is an automotive shrink wrap. It's uh, relatively waterproof. Uh, if you care about things like that, I wouldn't imagine you're going to be dunking your ducks in the water anytime soon with the electronics inside. But just in case, try and keep this as waterproof as possible. And then uh, a pair of scissors. And the last thing I'll use is a heat gun in order to heat shrink the wrap. And uh, we'll start here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll tape up the uh, the cabin here the, where you're going to have all of your, your uh, electronics. And you'll notice again inside that it has the battery pack. It goes directly to the motor. There's some wiring that you don't really need to worry about in there. And it comes down into the switch. Keep in mind that the switch will always have to be on uh, when you start using the remote. But right now, it has to be off, no battery attached. You don't want any electricity going through this pack. This is going to seem crazy for you that don't work with electronics, but it's, this is like a very simple process. What you're going to do is you're going to clip, give yourself some room uh, about this far up on the battery pack. Okay, so you'll have, you'll have to save that. Put that to the side. Then on your 12 volt monster kit, it should look like this. The way I did it and the way it worked and the way I'm going to tell you is where it says 12 volt monster, the bottom two red and white or red and blacks will go to the bird the top two red and blacks will go to the battery so you'll need four uh, different uh, soldering points so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to clip each solder point so I give myself some room up here um, I'll cut here I don't like to cut them all at once but you can do whatever you see fit cut that one cut that one and that one this is essentially garbage. You won't use this anymore. You only use these on the, the uh, ducts with the 6-volt battery. At that point, you're going to want to strip back just a couple of uh, millimeters. I don't use a lot on each, uh, each end where you'll be soldering. And since we don't have any electricity going to the duct, you don't have to worry about shorting things out right now. So you're going to uh, strip all these little pieces off. Once you get them stripped off, you'll have a lot easier working with the solder. You won't have to muck around with stripping while it's being soldered. Just do it all at once. You can take a couple alligator clips if you don't... Uh, you don't want to throw it all soldered together right away, that's fine, but uh, what I'm going to do is I've already tested this twice, so I'm just going to go and solder right away. 
important tip again the top two just fold back for a second the bottom two are the ones you're going to work with against the duck I like to put these little heat shrink wrap things on here first to keep me from forgetting to put them on in the past I've forgotten to do these things like on motorcycle builds where uh, I'll get halfway through the solder job on a light or something and I'll have to clip it all and start over. So at this point, you have your, your uh, heat shrink on the wires. You take your red to your red. Couldn't get much simpler than that, could it? You go red to red. From the bottom one, you're going to twist it together. I'm sure there's a much cleaner option on how to solder out there. But this will work for this application. You're going to solder this connection. You don't need much to keep it together. It's light wire. Then I like to fold it back. Again, you can strip off more, make it a little bit cleaner, but this is going to hold it together pretty good. I'll take my heat gun at this point. Shrink up the wrap. Looks clean. Now we'll do again with the bottom one, the bottom black going to the duck. Side of that point. Fold her over. Heat gun. Looks good. You're almost there. Two more to go. Okay, top two. Twist them. Twist them. Put your heat shrink on the wire so you don't forget. Then you'll take the piece that you cut off from earlier that has your attachment for your battery pack. And you're going to do black to, ba black to black, red to red, just as before. Fancy doing both before you heat gun it. You can kill two birds with one stone. Last heat gun. So, 12 volt monster, you can buy it in a couple different ways. You can buy it as um, one switch controls one duck on and off, the other switch controls one duck on and off. I thought that was a little bit stupid. I thought I could just turn them both on and both off so you get them as the same channel. So the left button turns them both on, the right button turns them both off. So again, after all your wiring is complete, everything's soldered, ready to go, you got your batteries hooked up, you'll see it turns on, turns off, turns on, turns off. This is great in the field when you're in a blind, you don't have to walk out into the marsh or wherever your flooded timber is. You can be running nine volt batteries. Uh, I don't necessarily think it'll blow out your, your motors, but if you uh, want to stay safe, use the AA batteries. And as you can see, if you come around over here to the backs, you'll see both are hooked up with 9 volt batteries on my application. Um, you'll see both have a 9 volt battery with the 12 volt monster hookups on each one. Again, 
if you click one, they all turn on. You click off, on, off. So I hope this helps for those of you that got these these uh, these mojos that didn't have the six volt plug and play batteries. This gives you a better option where uh, if you have just a, a little bit of time, it only takes about six or eight minutes to do them both if you are relatively handy with a soldering iron. So good luck out there.